Have you ever wanted to go back to your childhood and repeat something that you truly enjoyed? If I thought about it, there's probably a hundred things that I would love to go back and do. But then again, there's probably at least that many I would rather not repeat as well. We'd ride bikes on endless trails until sunset, build tree houses, play war, shoot guns, and when we played hide and seek, we did it so well, sometimes it seemed like it'd take the police to find somebody. But there's one memory I cherish above all others, and one that provided hours of entertainment and a full body workout. We call it Rolling Rocks. I found out that my dad used to love Rolling Rocks too, and his dad too. So I got a few of the boys together and decided to bring Rolling Rocks up to them just to see what kind of yeah. tales it would stir up. Did you ever roll rocks, Daddy? Yeah, sure. Yeah. You know, the well, you probably really roll them off the top of the hill back there too, ain't you? Huh? Well, you told me the other day you rolled a big rock way to town. Well, we shot it over there. And it rolled down the hill and it dropped over. Who helped you? Me and Carl, Raymond, Chris, and Walter Steele. Four of you? That big rock is over from a rock cliff up. <laughs> it's up on top. We piled it up a little bit and put a rock on it. Piled it up some more. Put another rock in and dragged it. Headed off with them. <laughs> but it didn't go anywhere. Yeah, I've had them do that too. Albert Oil was down there, uh, this old black guy at Ward Place. Albert was down there, and he said, What are you boys up doing that boy? <laughs> <laughs> he came up there and looked at it. He said, How in this world would he just want to get that rock over there? <laughs> yeah. I've rode them before. We was up here on this hill where the antenna line used to go. If we used to have a the only way to get a television signal around here, you had to have a wire running from your teeth. But you to the top of the hill, and there was an antenna back on this main top of this hill back here. And it was up in a big oak tree. And I'd have to run that television line. So anytime I was running that television line, we'd all, us boys, fifth two or three, we'd go up the hill, we'd roll rocks down the hill on our way up. And me and Lon C, the guy used to live right over there where you all lived. We got the big idea we was going to roll that one big rock that we've been wanting to roll for a long time. Finally, we grow big enough where we could get it up out of the ground. And we rolled that rock. And it came down off the hill and across that bench where y'all got your garden up there. Through the fence and down the other side. And I don't know what kept him hitting Joe Steele's house because that's what we was afraid of. It was going to hit his house. And son, we started we were praying and hoping that that rock would stop after we got it going. And it hit trees, knocked bark off the trees. It ricocheted three or four times down through there. Knock limbs out of trees, it's so big. He hit the tree, the limbs would fall out of the tree. It would shake the tree so bad. And I guess he hit down that big ditch down in the bottom there. That's where it stopped, I guess. It didn't go in, in his house. But it tore his grapevine up and tore his, oh, what was in his garden up. It rolled right through his garden. <laughs> we were hoping it wouldn't go to his house. <laughs> we wanted to roll rocks that were absolutely as big as we could possibly move. Yeah, and the big flat ones you get up on their edge and then turn them loose, that was the most fun. They hopped the highest. They'd hit something and go way up there and then hit again. Yeah, we had some of those that jumped all the way out in the middle of Dad's pond up there. Up yeah. in the head of the hog? Yeah, we got in trouble for that. <laughs> I knocked at the door. <clears throat> I saw this truck roller. It's laying up right here and see it someday. Ralph and Ern was fishing. They old bog water up. Me and Grandpa was putting the post in down the hill. And he hollered, look out down there, and there was something about big rock that hit, jumped about the size of his house, and the next place it hit, right in that fence row. <laughs> <laughs> Broke the barbed wire and tore three or four posts out. <laughs> Grandpa never said nothing? Yeah. He didn't say nothing to him? No, he wasn't nothing to say. <laughs> <laughs> well, what did you say to him? <laughs> I told him he was about to kill us down there. <laughs> we decided to climb the hill behind Dad's cabin to see if we still had it in us. We chose that hill because it always had the reputation of being 
steep as a horse's face. Of course, I'll be behind the camera during this little adventure, but I did have high hopes for some old time entertainment. Oh, and he went up on the hill, he said, and took it up. And then that was it, you know, he just left. He went back home. And he said the next day, he was out talking to his grandpa, who lives next door to him. And he said his dog come out and carrying that turd in his mouth, frozen, <laughs> rock solid. He had, he had that turd in his mouth. And it froze. <laughs> If there's one thing that's true about rock rolling, it's that the more muscle, the better. When Jared and I used to roll rocks, we were about 15 to 20 years younger and about 120 pounds lighter. Still, no matter if you're the strongest man on earth, there's some rock out there that'll put you in your place. Don't hurt you back. I'm moving now. That's a bigger one. Yeah. You can, but you never stood that. So you can't do that. Well, it's hurting my crosses. It's a bit smaller rock. Just that. This is what happens when you try to roll a rock and a tree gets in the way. <laughs> Imagine your fingers right there. What would that do to your fingers? Oh, God. It'd be black and blue. It's about the best exercise in the world. It's climbing hills and rolling rocks. Excuse me here, young fellow. Let me through. I'll go on there. Well, we're going to we're going to roll these. Right here. Oh, you want to roll it that way? There we go. There we go. It always started out the same way. A small rock or two All just right. to get warmed up. Most of them didn't go anywhere. <laughs> That was venal.